Hey guys, good morning. This is Diary of a Coach, episode 234. Diary of a Coach, episode 234. 234, Nigeria's code. So guys, how are you? Today's episode is titled, Learn Real Living. Learn Real Living. I do not know if this is an African thing or a Nigerian thing, but being real is so misunderstood in this part of the world. Many people believe that when you are being real, you are mediocre. They think that you are intimidated. They think you are subservient. Being real is so scarce, so scarce. We believe in packaging. We believe in enhancements. We believe in illusion. We believe in padding. And this is one of the misconceptions that has led many people to their early graves. I'm sure most of you have seen the trending video of a woman who was exfoliating her skin and peeling off a layer of her skin because she needed to whiten up or lighten up the activity itself is not usually the problem the problem is the motive the driving factor the the inspiration what is motivating that line of thinking what is motivating that line of behavior Last week, someone saw me and said, Oh, Coach Sam, this is your car. Um, this your car is not befitting of your state or so. You're driving a Corolla. You should be driving a bigger car. And I said, Why? I said, eh, you know now, you're a popular brand. Ah, you're a big name. You know, when people see you, they should see that you're driving a big car. I said, Really? If I want a big car, can I afford it? I guess I can. If I want a big car, should I get it? If I want, it's a function of do I want it? And is that what I want right now? Or would I rather do other things with the money? And how is it supposed to be your problem? So it is a problem to be you in this part of the world. It's a problem. So I noticed a lot of enhancements with our people. We like to brand and over brand and over package. Over packaging is killing us. That is why, you know, we were doing a particular shortlisting for a client. And she said, those people that are even sending their CVs, their CVs don't even look like they know what they are doing. And I said, that's a misconception. There are many professional CV writers now in Nigeria and they will package your CV, eh? it will look like it came from Harvard. But when we now meet the candidate, we cannot match the CV with the candidate because the candidate does not even know what he's talking about. Meanwhile, you have someone who is thorough, who understands the job, who has experiences, and may not necessarily have that aesthetically sound CV. And then you delete the person or you screen out the person. And then you lose a candidate that could have added value to your organization. Packaging can become a problem. While I wholly believe in branding, I wholly believe in packaging, I wholly believe in presentation, I wholly believe in proper presentation, I believe that it should also be balanced with efficiency. I met, there's an architect friend who taught me something that architects say. Architects will say, form over function or function over form which means you need to choose do you want the packaging over the efficiency or do you prefer efficiency over packaging you have to pick which comes first and then you modulate with the other so it means that it is absolutely possible to have a proper being in reality being you while you can now present yourself in a way that looks marketable and sellable my encouragement this morning 
focus on your content first focus on you focus on your wiring focus on your strength focus on your resourcefulness focus on your capacity focus on your ability focus on what you know you can do effortlessly focus on what you can do seamlessly focus on the truism that you are first then begin to enhance it with what it looks like what it may look like and how it can sell so yesterday we talked about creativity versus professionalism and we said you need to be able to create a balance between creativity and professionalism today i'm saying you need to balance between efficiency and packaging it is very important to be efficient and then you aid it with packaging one of the things i normally tell people is i would first look for efficiency in service then i will now enhance it with packaging but guess what what if i prefer to package first and efficiency comes later someone was telling me that in this country respect yourself and do packaging when you package first then you can now get someone that can do the efficiency part he told me that when he goes to submit briefs to government offices he does the packaging properly and then when he gets the briefs he imports people that can do the efficiency people that can do the job proper he's just the front man he's the lobbyist so it means that there is actually another angle to this conversation. Someone else can say, why do I have to be resourceful? Why do I need to have substance? I will get the brief, I will get the job, I will get the thing, the deal. Then I can find someone that can execute it and do it. The point I'm making here is, have the mindset to create a balance. Have the mindset to create a balance. You must ensure that while your packaging and finishing is on point, your content cannot be questioned while your packaging and finishing is on point your efficiency your content should not be under doubt don't be a new generation philosopher and motivational speaker and trainer and teacher and facebook poster who is all about the effizy you're all about the colors you're all about the branding you're all about the packaging you're all about the aesthetics but when the chips are down, you really cannot defend what you're saying and doing. Don't be caught in that rut. It will not favor you. Learn to be real. One of the things, you know, yeah, I think was when I was arguing with my client two nights ago about the issue of CV or no CV, and she was talking about the fact that she needs to make more money this coming year. And she said, but she's hoping to get an appointment. Which should she choose? And I said, go for the appointment. Why not? And she's like, but if I go for the appointment, they will fight me because I'm too real. And they will fight me. I said, you know the thing? The thing about Nigerians is that we recognize who is real. We hate that they are too real for our liking. More like we wish, they wish they were like the real people. So they will fight you to a standstill. But guess what? When the chiefs are down, they are the person they would name as their preferred person. They are the person they would prefer because you are real because you are trustworthy because your content is reliable even though they hate that you are so true and i can mention names the late mrs dora akunili is an example she was pro content she was pro efficiency she was pro effectiveness we can hardly even match her to anything packaging but she was real guess what we celebrate her iconic nature till today. Mrs. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela is not a packaging person. She's just the way she is. But guess what? She's real. She's frank. She's content. She's automatic. She's, she's authentic. That is another icon. The Lamido Sanusi, His Excellency, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kano, packaging. Mm -hmm. We can say fantastic packaging, but guess what? We know him for his content. We know him for his realness. We know him for his, his depth. We know him for his foresight. We know him for who he is. Charles Soludo, the former CBN governor who recapitalized the banks and saved Nigeria from a major financial embarrassment and economic embarrassment. We know him for his content. He's rich in content. Rich in content. Lake Elder. The father of cerebral thinking and branding. 
he's a branding chief but we know him for his content he's a sagaci, sagacious man sam adeyemi content tony elumelu content jim ovia content just call any name Ibuku awashika content jj omojua content so if you call the names of these people they are real and guess what government after government season after season they are relevant so i'm not anti-packaging i just i learned to package myself i learned to enhance my brand i learned to dress better i learned to do pictorial aesthetics i learned to do different things that would enhance my visibility and branding but guess what i am number one fan of content content is king any day any time don't lose your content be real be real learn to be real learn to be real learn to build capacity learn to build content learn to be real and then let packaging enhance it your first call is content your second call is packaging response is when the chips are down but it's so hard it takes real determination to maintain your authenticity in a city that hates it but nothing is more liberating than being you completely true in nigeria is a war to be you but you need to grow capacity to be full of your content first and then you can enhance it with your branding and they can go lining they can go hand in hand in fact it doesn't have to be one first then the second it can actually be parallel if you can afford to concentrate but one thing that can always deliver you is content if you will be relevant 50 years from today your content has to be solid and evolving Olesho Inka is still solid till today Gamaniel Olonsode still solid Emeka Yoku still solid I'm talking about old people Oba Sonjo still solid these are old men and and women who have who have content who have proven over time to be rich in depth of what they know so don't let packaging deceive you there's nothing wrong in packaging completely nothing there's nothing wrong in presentation there's nothing wrong in finishing there's nothing wrong in having a an enhanced output an enhanced visualization but don't ever lose your content don't ever lose your your resourcefulness don't ever lose your richness of knowledge it will save you any day anytime it then says content is your collateral any day the response is don't lose your essence thank you for watching diary of a coach fantastic yes 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 it then says that's why our friday webinar is part of being real to yourself this is a true statement tomorrow night we're talking about the height of being real the height of being real i know i will die one day one day in this life you people will read rest in peace sam of our family oh sam of our family is gone wow i can't believe it oh my god sam died no it's not the, it's not true it's a lie oh my god sam of our family rest in peace thank you for all you did for the world blah 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 blah, blah. you guys will say oh thank you sam for all you did for us thank you for guiding me some people write very emotional prose some people say oh really i never met him i never even heard about him who is he do not go to my website or my social media timeline they'll be saying wow this guy has been doing videos every day and he died wow oh my god one day you guys will say i'm dead and i'm gone so that is the reality of life it's part of being real the reality that one day i will sleep and not wake up again and I would have been called back to eternity. If I die today, what happens to my daughters? What happens to their mother? What happens to my parents? What happens with my siblings? What happens to my company? What happens to my staff? This is why we're talking tomorrow night. The webinar on what happens when you die. What should you do now to protect that after effect? And it holds at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Facilitators, Kemi Olomola, Shijuade MNI and Emmanuel Idein Shaibo. Tomorrow is real. And if you are not afraid of being real, you should join. As at this morning, only 33 people have registered. 
and it is a free class so you, i don't know why you should not be there if you have not registered please send your name and email address to 0807 361 0884 and you'll be registered immediately or you can just drop a comment here and say i'm interested and then someone will reach you on how to register so tomorrow night is a date don't forget to register and you'll be glad you learned some tips we'll be talking about life insurance we'll be talking about writing a will we'll be writing about protecting your family we'll be writing a lot of talking about a lot of things that can help your family and they will not resent you after you're gone it sounds like hard talk but it's true talk so we need to be real thank you guys for watching diary of a coach it's a fantastic morning and i appreciate you this is episode 234 of diary of a coach thank you for joining and thank you for watching and don't forget to invite someone to our webinar holding tomorrow it's completely free of charge and it will be good to have you god bless you and bye